Good morning, everybody. This is Bishop Deb, and I am down at my little sitting spot. It's cold. Well, actually, it's it's damp cold. It's zero degrees Celsius, which is much warmer than it's been over the last several weeks. It still feels cold. I got the heat going. You probably hear the motor running. So I'm watching the the uh, open spaces of water. It, the water immediately reacts to any change in temperature. So you get a couple of minus 20 days and everything kind of glosses over with ice. And it, But today it's pretty open. There's some ice floating around, but ice dunes. We went, uh, I had two weddings last night at, in Niagara Falls at uh, Niagara Falls Wedding Chapel on the Lane, Lundy's Lane. Jack and Charlie are master photographers. They're wonderful people and they have uh, part of their studio open as a chapel in the summer. They've got a lovely backyard venue too and I am fortunate enough to do weddings for them. So I had two there yesterday and afterwards I, my sons came into the falls with me and, and um, picked them up and we took the long way home. We came along uh, where the falls are, along River Road and it was the cars were all parked I mean they really shouldn't be but how can they not people are taking pictures the um, the spray from the falls which is there constantly when you're driving by you always have to use your windshield wipers uh, in the uh, winter the spray that kicks up from the horseshoe falls just covers everything and it's like ice sculptures it's like otherworldly it's just exquisite uh, ice covering the lamp posts and, and icicles that are not falling straight, but because it's um, it's windy, uh, they also they sort of swept to the side. It was I don't think anybody could do a better job than Mother Nature at that. Everything was covered in ice, and people were uh, enjoying it. Apparently, a couple of weeks ago it was even better, but we. Uh, took a ride by and the the American Falls are are hugely they look like marshmallows they're just uh, terribly terribly frozen Um, the water is still flowing of course you can see it flowing but as it hits the bottom it freezes and that just keeps expanding and so it looks like marshmallows all over the bottom it's quite uh, spectacular with the lights on so it's been a busy week it's Friday it's uh, a weekend coming up. Here we have the Ice Wine Festival, so they've got a tent set up up the street. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be six degrees, which is good for people standing around, but not so good for the ice sculptures that, you know, they're going to be melting a bit, I think. Last weekend was very, very cold. It would have been better suited for an ice wine venue, but they've got this weekend. Often it happens that way. We get... Uh, warmer climbs this weekend of the year then we go back into the deep deep freeze back in February so still a lot of winter ahead I hope you are well and enjoying your time your day your week looking forward to a, a wonderful weekend the thing that we have to always remember to do is pray you know, as we, as our feet hit the floor, say a prayer of thankfulness that we are on this side of the grass, as a friend of mine used to say, I'm okay, I'm on this side of the grass. Um, say a prayer for your life, for your loved ones, for a day that will be uplifting, fulfilling, satisfying, rewarding. And as you go through the day, I pray through the day, I gotta say, um, you know, even coming down here, I say my little prayers, and then I start my broadcast. Um, there's always something to be thankful for. So when we have that kind of attitude, the whole day goes a bit better, I think. A lot better, actually. And then, you know, as you get into bed at night, kind of thinking over the, the day and the things that have happened, you can give thanks again or, or pray for situations or ask for help or just put it in God's big hands, you know? God is the source of all. God is the the ground of all being. God is the force of everything, the source of life. 
the source of love. So when we hand that over, hand over our worries and our troubles, just to have it um, taken care of for our highest and best, let it go. Have a good night's sleep. A day grounded in prayer from start to, to end. And, you know, angels watch over our house while we sleep. So I like that uh, we get the chance to uh, offer prayers for the day. I'm always having a conversation with angels and God. And if anybody could hear the chatter in my head, they'd maybe worry about me a little bit. But it's all good. It's all prayer. And it's all for other people's blessings, too. You know, you drive by a, a, a car accident. You pray for the people involved. You pray for the first responders. You send angels to help uh, if they're being taken to hospital. You know, just cover the whole thing with prayer and love and good intentions. If you're stuck in traffic, it's a great time to kind of think about things you'd like to see in your day. Um, if you're walking and looking around, give thanks for the beauty of creation. If you're watching your kids play, just see the the creativity, the imagination, the wonder of a child. And, you know, when you look at the world from that kind of perspective, the um, cable news and the headlines and the stuff that comes on our devices, you know, it, it's kind of balanced out a bit. You know, the the scary stuff, yeah, that might happen. We have no control over that. But we can focus on the here and now and who we're with and what that's all about and and give thanks give thanks for that and that has a resounding effect on the rest of it all so let's have a prayer for this friday and i hope that you have a wonderful weekend and a and a blessed blessed time praying and thinking about life and your life and the good that comes let's pray Gracious God, we do give you thanks for the gift of this beautiful day. We remember before you all those people who are, who've asked for our prayers, who are feeling the effects of um, seasonal illnesses, lots of flu and colds around right now. We pray that you help them to recover quickly and to be comfortable. We pray for those who are dealing with more serious issues in any need any trouble, any danger. Those who are worried, those who are lonely, those who are fearful, cross the world. We ask that you help us in our needs and help us to see resolution and answers coming now. We pray for those who are worried for any reason that you're hand would guide them, that they would see your presence and feel your presence with them in this day. And that in all things, we would be inspired to recognize that you are God of all, that you are Father, Mother, Creator. You are connected to us intimately and eternally. And for that, We give great thanks. Amen. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. I am going to be playing with clay today. I've got some hearts to make. Heartfelt pendants. You'll see them at uh, theangelladies.com. Secret word on the back. It's a present for you, really. If you are working on something in your life or if you need a reminder, there's, um, there's a word on the back that sits against your heart as you wear your your pendant and a lot of people have felt that um, very helpful actually Uh, it kind of inspired them so I'm busy making more also making crosses for schools so I'll be playing with clay and that is one of my favorite activities Um, I pray with the clay and I energize it and bless it and so I get some pretty amazing images that come up from the swirls of color. It's nothing I do. It's all co-created with angels, I say. So that's what I'm doing today. I hope you have a day to play or to have fun and enjoy this uh, blessed world that we live in. 
and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.